remember saying when I was 12, I am going to be a photographer. Living in the country, there's not a lot to do. And so I'd always pester my dad, uh, can we go for a bushwalk? Can we go up to Mount Buffalo and go for some bushwalks? And during those times where we're up on Mount Buffalo, uh, my dad would bring his dad's Pentax SLR camera and uh, I'd steal it and take photos along the way. My interest in photography was cemented when I was introduced to the black and white darkroom. When uh, you put a, a, a piece of exposed paper into the developer and you see it appear <laughs> is a pretty, pretty amazing experience. A lot of my work uh, starts in the darkroom using uh, photograms as a way to uh, create a base from what I shoot from. Um, I also use the studio quite a bit as well. Uh, I like to um, kind of mix and match processes as well. I like the idea that photography, um, you know, tends, there tends to be a lot of rules and I like just swapping them up. I was invited to go to the local energy trading systems conference. So I went along and there was an activity that we did as a group and there were 60 of us all in a kind of like a bit of a group circle and everyone had a ball of wool. Uh, the ball of wool was passed around from one person to another with no, no rhythm or anything. It was just to whoever they wanted it to go to. It was very spontaneous, non-linear. Uh, and it created this web of, you know, wool and string that, uh, you know, it was quite beautiful once it was laid down to the ground. And that was used as a metaphor to describe how self-organising communities function, where things aren't linear. Dust Landscapes came out of my master's by research at RMIT and I went in with the research question that I still look back at and go, did I set myself for a task or what? Where it was like, how, how can a spiritual collective consciousness be revealed and documented uh, through photography? Confest is actually one of the first open healing communities in Australia. So I, I went out there and I started taking photos of people at Confess, uh, participating in activities uh, that uh, evoked a spiritual collective consciousness. And when I brought those images back, I was really disappointed that it just became me as an outsider photographing people involved in an activity. Um, and it just didn't, didn't capture actually what the energy was like. So I started to think about the landscape and that it's purposely held in this arid landscape and that the, the dust that kind of gets pushed up in clouds because of all the people dancing and it's just really dry. And so you come back from Confest and it's just, you're covered with dust. And I kind of like that idea of the residual part of Confest going with people and that that is a really important part of what Confest is. And so then I started thinking, well, could I make pictures from the dust uh, as a landscape, um, as a almost like a topographical map? I really wanted the, the dust as like residual artefacts of the Confest experience. Um, and then also to be like really quite unfamiliar so when you're looking at them, you kind of get the experience of when you are at Confest. <laughs> <laughs>